Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to Simply Survival. That is right, this is my survival let's play where I show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and we do this in complete survival. Again, we like to try and do things the simplest way possible, hence why it's called Simply Survival. So, um, in today's video, um, we are doing a well-needed video, an improved iron farm. Now, um, I'm not making huge changes, but there is some vital changes that have been made not only to um, make the rates of this farm pretty much double the rates of the previous iron farm I've done before, but it also doesn't get any iron golems spawn in the villager chamber, which was a big thing last time. Again, I made a mistake. However, we are here now and we are going to uh, go ahead and fix it. So, um, basically, I don't want to waste any time. What I've done is I've set everything up. I've tried to do as much as physically possible um, so I can explain it to you and explain the changes and stuff like that. So, again, if you've got any questions regarding this video or any other videos, best place to get me is on the Discord. We are growing every single day on there, so um, come and say hi. Again, if you've not got Discord, um, you can add me on the Twitter or the Insta Jam. Again, we are absolutely smashing it, guys. We are now on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I mean, that is just crazy just saying it, right? Again, if you haven't already, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button. So, that being said, let us just get on to today's video. We, we have got a hell of a lot to do. So, um, the time-consuming bit is going to be moving the villagers, but right now... What what we can do is actually get on to our um, kill chamber. So, um, again, um, as far as a materials list go, I'm going to put a list in the description below. It's going to be a lot easier and save a lot of time in this video for you guys. So, um, first off the bat, what you're going to need to do is grab four hoppers and four chests. Again, we're simply going to um, find, obviously, a location for our iron farm. You want to make sure this iron farm is 100 blocks away from any other villages. This is going to, um, obviously, make this the best and work with the best rates. And also, it's obviously um, not going to impact the villagers once they're on the, up there. Again, I'm going to explain a little bit to do with my shoot very soon. As you can see, mine's very, very tall. Um, but I'm going to explain why I've done this and how this is going to improve my farm and why you might actually want to do a uh, shoot this big. Anyway, once you've done this, like I said, you want to grab some rails. You're going to go ahead and place some rails here. What I would do, um, I find this um, very helpful. Just place a couple of half slabs there like so. Um, again, you might want to stand on top of them. You can go ahead and remove this one if you so choose. So now what we need to do, um, I've actually broken one of my uh, hopper minecarts. We just need to place one on the corner here like so. And we're going to go ahead and place another one on the corner there like so. Um, in addition to this, we are going to need our final hopper minecart. Again, I've got mine broken in here. We're just going to grab this one. And then we're going to go ahead and link this up. So we're going to press that. Now, we don't want to put on our third. Um, uh, I'll link it all up yet. Also, start spinning. So put your third one on first. And then you want to go ahead and link it up and make these spin like so. So now um, from here, you want to grab your four magma blocks. And we are going to go ahead and place those straight on top of those spinning minecarts. Super easy, super simple. So now um, grab your four buttons, the only four buttons in this design. And we're going to go place them on top of this. What these buttons are doing, um, basically... It is stopping these from, um, like, catching fire because we're going to have lava here as well. And if these catch fire, obviously, your drops are going to get burnt. So the buttons are vital. Again, reason we're not using buttons for the lava because, obviously, mobs think that they are, like, full blocks. So they do, like, stand on top of them, and we don't want that. Again, you want to place your four signs in that direction like so. In addition to this, you are going to want to grab your lava bucket now and your glass. So... Um, as far as the glass goes, what you're going to want to do is just bring that down like so. Again, you might want to do this first, obviously, before you put your lava in. It would make a hell of a lot of sense. So we're just going to put our lava in. Obviously, mine's not going to fall out because I've already got this nice little cap here. So um, we can go and fill that up with glass like so. And now our kill system and collection system is complete. Now we can actually start building up our... Um, actual tube where they're going to fall down so basically in regard to this i'll explain a little bit i'm going to go up there and explain a little bit um how you want to do it but basically from this block you want to build around all of this 11 blocks up you want to go 11 well 10 blocks up should i say you want to go 10 blocks up and on the 10th block 
um, then you can build your platform. Um, however, I've gone a little bit higher and I'm going to show you why now. Okay, so for speed of the video, I've gone ahead and done a few little bits. So um, what I was on about with this tube, basically you want to build it up like I have all the way up. Um, all the way up to this point. Now, I have gone for a 100 block drop. Why have I gone for a 100 block drop? Um, basically, when the iron golems drop, they are going to get moved away from the village. So the village is um, going to think that there's no iron golems there anymore. So basically, they're being moved away so far that the um, spawn rates should um, actually increase as well. And obviously, we've got our double kill chamber there as well, which is going to increase things even more. So um, obviously, I have forgot my shocker box. So I'm just going to nip to get my shocker box and I will be back. So yeah, like I was saying, basically, you just want to go ahead and you see this, bring it all the way up to your required height. Again, I'm doing a 100 block drop. So the iron golems move out of the way a lot faster, um, meaning they can spawn faster as well. So basically, once you've done the um, like tube, basically, you should only have this little area here so that's one two three four by four a little four by four square here and basically from this four by four square you want to go seven off each side so that's one two three four five six and seven as you can see and then of course i've done it this side one two three four five six and seven and of course i've linked those up and you're going to want to do that all the way round um, so I'm going to go ahead and link these up right now. Okay, so once you've obviously linked them up, you're going to need to fill them in just like so. This is going to be an 18 by 18 platform once you have done. Okay, so upon completion, you should have a solid 18 by 18 platform. And now all you simply want to do is go around the bottom of this platform like so. So we're just going to put a half slab here. And then on the outside, like so. And then we're going to go all the way round with half slabs. And I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, so once you've added your first um, like a border of half slabs, you should basically have a 20 by 20 in total. So basically from this corner here to the other corner is now a 20 by 20. But we are not finished. Oh no, we are basically going to add ourselves another layer of half slabs. Now, I'm fairly certain this one is not required. However, um, I'd, I'd put it in just to be safe. Um, so I'm going to do that. Again, half slabs are very, very easy to actually obtain. So it shouldn't be that bad. Okay, so um, now you should have something that looks a little bit like this, as you can see. Um, so next, you want to go in all four corners and just simply place four blocks like so. This is simply going to be for our water. Super easy, super simple. And then, basically, we are going to start making our villager chamber. And basically, it is super, super simple. So from here, you're going to go one, two, and three. And basically, that block just there is going to give us a really good um, start of platform. And of course, it would rain. So let me just make this four by four there. And of course, I need to get rid of this rain. Can we sleep through it? Of course we can't. Okay, so um, it is finally daytime. The sun is out. Let's continue with this tutorial. So obviously, you want your four... Um, center blocks three above this so that's one two and obviously on the third one like so um, let me just go ahead and remove those so um, basically from these four center blocks you simply want to go one two one two from each side as you can see and then once you've done that from each side just link those up simply like so and basically this is going to be a nice little platform for our beds um, again, you want to go around all sides, linking it up like so. And then on the edge sides, just here, go ahead and place two more like so. And we are going to have an additional two more beds there. Um, I'm fairly certain, actually, you don't need these two beds. However, um, it just gives the villagers a little bit more of an option to pick a, like what, what bed they want. You know what I mean? So, um, again, now we can actually start placing our beds. So let me just make a little path up there. And basically, this is how we are going to do it. So first things first, we are going to have to get a load of beds. Let me just do that. Okay, so um, I've got um, a load of beds to hand. And basically, we're going to go ahead and put this first row here like so. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and of course, eight. And then obviously, I'm sure you guessed it. We're going to go ahead and place two more beds. Well, we're going to place beds on this side, so that'll be another 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. 
Um, well, no, that'll only be six. And then another six this side. So we've got eight in the middle. Um, in total, we will have 20 beds. Okay, so we're just finishing off the beds. Again, um, a personal preference, you could put some beds this side like so so for example you could put a couple of half slabs there just for holder blocks because of course we are going to be removing all of these blocks very soon and of course you could do this the other side as well of course you want to make sure that you're going to be able to get a bed on them and um like i said well actually we can just put white let's uh keep it all one color and there we go again um you only actually need 20 beds like i said the full list of the items are going to be in the description however it doesn't really matter if you add a couple more beds um it's not going to affect it really that much so now you can obviously go ahead and remove these blocks like so very easy very very simple and once you've done this basically we are going to be working with the job block so let me just go ahead and grab all of these blocks well the ones that i can and we are going to go ahead and grab our job blocks we've got a little bit more job blocks than um, we had before because um i found a little bit of a better system how we can actually do this so first things first we're going to want to go back up there of course and we are going to start laying out our job block so obviously we've got um we've got eight beds here so on the middle six so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, and then 11 and 12, like so. We are then going to go and put carpets over the top of these, okay? And once you've done that, basically, that is um, going to be all right. This is going to um, help stop these golems spawning in here as well. So from here, what you're going to want to do on the edge of these carpets, if we can manage to do it, you're going to want to go put job blocks there. Again, again, you only need to put one on the edge of a carpet, and then you can just go on the side of the other job blocks like so. And, of course, we're going to go and do that exactly the same thing on the other side. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, to this other side just here so we're going to go ahead and place one like so and then we can go ahead and place them all the way along of course this is going to give the villagers easy access to these job blocks and of course you want to go and double these up like so so um yeah it's going to give them really easy access to these job blocks and that is exactly what we want so um now what i would do is bring a half slab across here like so um, just like that and again you want to bring another one just at this height here and all this is going to do is trap our uh, villagers in like so and of course we can go over the top with half slabs so I'm going to go and do that um, and of course this will link up like this and obviously we'll link it all up but we need our villages in there just first so um let me just go ahead and do this this side again remember you want to put them on the bottom half slab um so no mobs spawn if you put them anywhere else you're going to get mob spawn because it just classes as a normal block so remember guys keep these half slabs on the bottom of the block as you can see and you should be okay as far as mob like spawning um happening uh, let's go ahead and put our final one here. And like I said, you can go ahead and link this all the way round. Now, I'd actually do it like this um, instead of doing it like this on this side. It just doesn't um, look as good. Oh, God, I fell. Let me just go back up there. Um, again, the joys of doing tutorials in survival, right? So um, let me get back up there a little bit more. And, of course, we're not going to be able to get up there anymore. Where did I just place that block? Just there. Make sure you've got no other blocks that you've placed there. And, of course, I'm going to starve to death. So, now we've done that, we can basically remove any blocks like that. We've got a few more half slabs before we can actually get our villagers. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But right now, we need to eat. So, let me just go ahead and eat like so. Right. So, basically... Golems will spawn on these beds if we do not protect them. So the next step is definitely to make it so they are golem proof. Um, we do not want the golem spawning on these beds. Simplest way that we are going to do this. So here, no iron golems are going to spawn because there is only a two block gap. They need like a two and a bit block gap, I believe, for them to spawn. So on the edge of these beds just here, we are going to go ahead and place half slabs. This is going to prevent those from spawning. Now, um, you can double check whether it's the bottom just by looking there. And we can see that it's the bottom half slab. 
and we're going to place them on this bed as well so let me just go ahead and place that there so um we're going to need some more half slabs let me just grab those out of here perfect 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 again you're going to want to obviously place a half slab here and a half slab here just to be safe well actually like i said it's actually only a two block gap so you're going to get no iron golem spawn there anyway so it doesn't really matter and then of course we want to just do that step that we just did to the other side so i'm just going to go ahead and do that right now so again um just so there's no confusion couple of slabs on here super easy super simple and of course slab there slab there and that is complete now we are on to the hardest bit and that is moving the villagers in there so for that what i've done in survival um we i have actually gone ahead and made myself a rail now how i've charged this i've done it every seven so every seven blocks is a powered rail now i'm not sure if that is going to be enough to get these villages up here but we'll find out very soon and if i do have to make any adjustments i can go and do that so i'm just going to go and finish off this and then i'm going to go back down to my breeder and we will see um what happens okay so just to be safe um i've decided just to go down on this hill bit and just make these a little bit longer and I think we're pretty much guaranteed then for them to go in. So um, it's not too bad. Again, I've got a lot of leftovers here, so I'm not really fussed. And of course, the more work you do towards this like system of getting them up, the easier it's going to be for you. Um, you can struggle or you can put a little bit of work in like this and it should be reasonably simple Again, I have got to move 20 villagers, which is going to be a pain anyway So, um, yeah, like I said, we'll just see how it goes Okay, so as far as villagers um, are concerned, you're going to want to um, have adult villagers Of course, I've got babies, but I'm just going to wait for mine to grow up as they get in there So, um, hopefully I can push this guy um, a little bit and he should go I mean, um, I want to, like, follow him, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly over this mountain to, like, hopefully meet him up here. I mean, it would be really nice if this goes really smoothly. He's coming up. He's coming up. Let me get on here. Epic. Okay, so now all we've got to do is remove this, but obviously I've only got one minecart, so we've got to remove it, and hopefully he goes in there. So I'm going to crouch space. Yes. Okay, that's one down and 19 to go. Okay, so once um, all your villagers are in, as you can see, all my villagers are in, um, basically what we're going to want to do now is just go ahead and get some half slabs and put um, half slabs above the heads like so. You should be able to easily put them in just like this. And if you can't, um, just, you know, um, try and get in there. But you should have no trouble at all and of course you can remove your tracks because you're not going to need any more um ways to obviously get villagers up there so you can go ahead and do that as well and of course any other blocks that you've used to uh, stand on just make sure it's all clear and of course i've had iron golems spawning for quite some time now however um i just totally remembered part of my like kill chamber tube is actually missing um, and it goes into a cave. So I'm, I'm fairly certain that they could have possibly, well, some of them quite possibly could have gone in the, uh, the caves. So I'm going to try and see if we can sort that out. And the way I'm going to do that is go from the bottom. So we're going to go in my base right now. I'm just going to remove this just to make sure that um, no zombies are going to spawn up here. Because we don't want any zombies or any, any mobs for that matter. Oh, we just don't want any mobs whatsoever. So, um, I think I've done it um, in regards to fixing it. So, now what I'm going to do is just grab myself some rockets. And we're going to fly up there and AFK this for a little bit. Um, again, this is pretty much the end of the video. Um, you should get about 500 ingots an hour from this. Um, it is really extremely good. Again, like I said, this one has been modified. It's got more villagers and, of course, more trading stations, allowing us to, of course, um, make even more um, of those lovely, lovely, lovely ingots. Okay, so that is literally the farm complete. We should now actually, like, get some iron golems spawning. I know I've had um, a couple already. 
and obviously we've got to remove all of these blocks but yeah that is basically how to build it again i do hope this has um, been a bit more informative um for you and for you guys that do like the survival tutorials um i do hope that this has helped you out um to actually make this design um again it's really powerful so um that is pretty much it for today i will catch you on the next one